Welcome to Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Valsang. In this video, I will state and prove the addition theorem of expectations and multiplication theorem of expectations which are phi markers. I will start with the addition theorem of expectations. This statement is let x and y be two random variables with respective expectations e of x and e of y. Then the expectation of the sum of these random variables is the sum of their individual expectations. That is expectation of x plus y is equal to expectation of x plus expectation of y. So this statement will carry two marks and the proof will carry three marks. So let's start with the proof. Let x and y be two random variables with respective expectations e of x and e of y. Let p of x comma y be their joint probability let p1 of x and p2 of y be the marginal probabilities of x and y respectively. Then you write the formulae for p of x comma y which is probability of capital X equal to small x comma capital Y equal to y. And p1 of x formula is summation over y p of x comma y. And p2 of y formula is summation over x p of x comma y. So it's very important that you list down all the formulae which are required then the proof is very simple. Let us start with consider expectation of x plus y. Now because there are two random variables there will be two summation signs one summation over x and the other summation over y. And I mentioned in my previous videos that whatever is there next to the expectation, same will come after the summation signs in small letters along with their probabilities. Now because there are two random variables, we will have now double summation over x and y x plus y and now you will have the joint probability which is p of x comma y. Now you take the double summation first for x and then multiply it with p of x comma y then you will have the plus sign take the double summation for y and then you will have p of x comma y. In the next step you will get double summation over x y x p of x comma y plus double summation over x y y p of x comma y. Then you have to separate out the terms and write summation over x and then you write x and then you are left with summation over y p of x comma y. In a similar way you will have plus now write summation over y and then write the y term and you're left with summation over x p of x comma y. So summation over y p of x comma y and summation over x p of x comma y are highlighted in blue color. We know that summation over y p of x comma y is nothing but p1 of x and summation over x p of x comma y is p2 of y. So you will get summation over x, x p1 of x plus summation over y, y p2 of y. Now at this side I have highlighted in the red colored box that expectation of x is nothing but summation over x, x p1 of x and expectation of y is nothing but summation over y, y p2 of y. So you will get the next step as e of x plus e of y. Therefore, expectation of x plus y is equal to expectation of x plus expectation of y. Hence, the theorem is proved. We will move on to explain the multiplication theorem of expectations. The statement is let x and y be two independent random variables 
with respective expectations e of x and e of y. Here the word independent is very important and I have highlighted it in pink color. If you miss out the word independent then we cannot prove the result. Let me continue. Then the expectation of the product of these random variables is the product of their individual expectations. That means expectation of x, y is equal to expectation of x into expectation of y. Start with the proof. Let x and y be two independent random variables with respective expectations e of x and e of y. Let p of x, y be their joint probability. Let p1 of x and p2 of y be their marginal probabilities respectively where p of x, y is equal to now p1 of x into p2 of y for all x, y. This result is because the random variables are independent and p1 of x is summation over y p of x, y and p2 of y is equal to summation over x p of x, y. Let's start with consider expectation of x, y. This will be equal to double summation over x and y. And then I have mentioned earlier that whatever is next to the expectation will come after the summation signs in small letters. So you will have x, y and then you write the joint probability which is p of x, y. Now because the random variables are independent, p of x, y is nothing but p1 of x into p2 of y. This I have highlighted in blue color. So in the second step you will get double summation over x and y, x, y, p1 of x into p2 of y. Now rearrange the terms so that we will get the final result. So this will be equal to within the first round brackets I have summation over x and then I will take only the x term and I will take p1 of x. So summation over x, x p1 of x is grouped together. Now what remains is summation over y, y p2 of y. Now again at the right hand side of the slide in the box which is highlighted in red color, we know that expectation of x is nothing but summation over x, x p1 of x and expectation of y is nothing but summation over y, y p2 of y. So using this result, we get the second last step or you can call it the final step as e of x into e of y. Therefore, e of x, y is equal to e of x into e of y and hence the result is proved. I will end this chapter by proving two short results. For any two independent random variables x and y, the first condition is covariance of x, y is equal to 0 and second is r is equal to 0. Let us prove these results. So when the random variables are independent from the multiplication theorem of expectations, we know that expectation of x, y is equal to expectation of x into expectation of y. So let's start with the first result that is consider covariance of x, y. Write the formula. This is equal to expectation of x, y minus expectation of x into expectation of y. But because expectation of x, y is nothing but e of x into e of y, minus e of x into e of y, both the terms will get cancelled and you will get covariance of x, y equal to 0. Now let's prove that r is equal to 0 when the random variables are independent. So consider r equal to write the formula covariance of x, y divided by root variance of x into root variance of y. So which implies r is equal to the numerator is 0 divided by root variance of x into root variance of y. 
0 divided by any value would be 0. So therefore, r is equal to 0. Hence, when two uh, random variables are independent, you will see that covariance of x comma y is 0 and r also will be equal to 0. With this video, I complete the chapter on random variables. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where I will continue with measures of dispersion and the topic is mean deviation.